12 creators that go live every single day to cook for you. You can check us out at foodtalktv.com and all social media platforms. And go ahead and take it away. One cup basmati rinsed rice in here. And the trick with rice in the Instant Pot is one, uh, the same amount of rice, same amount of water, always rinse your rice. So we've got rice here, one cup. So how much liquid, everybody? One cup liquid. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now, Mama says hi. That's hi. it. Now, hi. I'm going to... Gluten-free Mama. Hey, Gluten-free Mama. Welcome, everybody. You know where you are. It's Food Talk TV. It's Monday night. It's Dan time. It's the organizer man time. I like Save that. Save money and time time. It's brand new time. All right, all about me, Dan. It's all about me, Dan. Look at this is this is the oil and cilantro that I was straining earlier. But I'm going to use the oil and the cilantro in here with butter, and then we're going to top it off with a little salt and pepper and some onion, and then all of this is going to go in the instant pot together and be ready in probably less than ten minutes. Is it rinsed black beans? 10 minutes to make rice? Wow. Rinse, rinse black beans, right? And then you know another one of our favorites. When Bradley was, uh, what, he had a broken wing. My little best bird buddy, he had a broken wing. <laughs> uh, he had to learn how to use other devices to slice. Right, Sketchy? That's exactly right. You know, but he didn't he do so did. bad. He had a broken he wing. Didn't do so he didn't so bad. He had, to learn, he had to learn different stuff. He cooked with but, one arm. That was impressive. <laughs> I know, man. It was so great to see uh, you with both your wings <laughs> in uh, op full operation. <laughs> Two wings. <laughs> Rick said that he's never made rice in an Instapot. Me either. I've never made um, anything in an Instapot. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> If you make rice in the Instant Pot this way, you will never make it another way again. Let's, ho let's wow. hope it works. <laughs> yeah, let's hope the pot works. Well, I have a Zoji Rushi, so, you know. <laughs> right on, girl. Chris, so Chris, said, Chris said, take those broken wings and learn. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> you and your poor little broke up wing. So okay, you, look at that. Chris, Right? Did you rinse the rice? Yes, the rice is rinsed. All I the want beef is all rinsed. I want. So if you're just joining us, instant pot. Same amount of rice, same amount of water. Rinse the rice, salt, <laughs> pepper. We're going to put onion in. We've got onion in our black beans. I'm also going to teach you a pot in pot method. So you're going to learn tonight how to do the rice and the beans, same pot, all there while we're getting busy on all of our taco business. Pot in pot and method. Up and plate one of Jack's treats. <laughs> so, oh, wait, how many mics do we have? 4.5. Okay, we get to 10,000 likes. Get me there, and uh, I'll prep a treat for Jack, and he'll do a trick for you. <laughs> you know, you know, you know I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in a vote. I vote. How about if you can get to 50,000, you'll eat that treat? Oh, <laughs> I'll eat it. You know um, me. You know, Hey, Joanne says she doesn't use the Instapot, but she uses her electric pressure cooker for rice and risotto. Oh, wow. The electric pressure cooker is, you know, it's the it's the original version of the Instapot, right? But it is the reason why a lot of people freak out and go hide under the bed when people are I starting just to a good old-fashioned pressure cooker. I live on the edge. <laughs> yeah, I got your edge right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, remember, same amount of rice as, as uh, water, one cup rice, one cup water. I've got um, salt, pepper, a little onion, and I'm putting this glass bowl right in here, right on top of there. I'm going to cook it all right here in the same pan, and I'm going to go over there and set it, and then I'll be right back when we start working on the fish and stuff. Well, let me, let me tell everybody about Grub Match. So you all, um, if you follow us right here in about two hours, an hour and yeah, 50 minutes or so, we're going to be having grub, grub match. And that's going to be me against the city girls kitchen. And we are competing to see who will make the best meal. 
And you will be able to vote on foodtalktv.com for your favorite. Um, and if you if you want to, you could even sign up to cook against me. So head over to foodtalktv.com. All the info is there. Hope you will watch us. Uh, and also give us a follow so you can be notified when, when we're live. Hola, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. We'll be eating while we watch. Where are oh, the right. Miss Ivy's in the house. Hey, everybody. Hola, Ivy. You're watching Food Talk TV, y'all. Right, Miss Sketchy and Bradley. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to head out because I've got to do my, my stuff in my kitchen. You know, I've got to do my stuff. Do you okay. know this? <laughs> we'll see you. So we'll, we'll kind of go on the flip side. Me Have a great life. Plus. Got it. Go. Bye. 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 I hope they play the Rocky theme. All right, Bradley. Right? Wait, best, 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 best. Beth said she's seen Sketchy Cook. I'll pass on the competition. I'll tell y'all what. That is Sketchy Flay. <laughs> if y'all want to cook against her, go ahead. But that's Sketchy Flay. And and I'm telling you, she's a good cook. That's brave stuff. She cooks for, um, she has 10 children. Um, some of them have partners and spouses. And... Um, there's always a huge group of people at Sketchy's house, and I love watching her cook live because they're all up in it, right? Yep. They're all part of it. <laughs> Evan's her cameraman. Brian's my cameraman. There you are. Bradley's got um, dicks on the camera. This is all a big family affair, this Food Talk TV business. <laughs> if Brian ever gets busy Monday nights, I'm screwed. <laughs> Did you already put everything in the Instapot? I did. There's uh, So if you're just joining us, I got the Instant Pot going. That's Jack's already checking the, the table. Rice, Look, the, Brian. the rice thing so, was the Instapot. Look who's at, at the table already. <laughs> yeah. Ready. Are you ready? He you ready. Got, <laughs> hold on, just stay right there. Okay. Stay right there. Papa, Papa Kaz is in the house. Just an appetizer. <laughs> okay. He's ready for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. So the instant pot has um, one cup of water. It was that pot. It, it's over there. Right. We did have a pot here. It had a cup of rice, a cup of uh, stock, salt, pepper, onion. And inside of that, I put a bowl with my black beans, some butter, a little bit of cilantro oil, salt, pepper, and that's all cooking. And it's set right now. It's coming up to pressure. Once it does, it'll cook for five minutes. And then be done, and we can release the pressure, yeah. and it'll just sit there while we do all yep. this other stuff. All in that same pot that was on the stove. All in the same pot. So rice and beans, five minutes, all done. Now we're doing pico, right? So I'm going to do pico. For the say time. We got we got 133 people in here. Everybody, you're uh, tapping the screen, but everybody share the live with five people right now. Share the live. Who shares? Let's, let's see the number go up. You know, six point. Yeah, every, every time you hit the little button on the bottom there, uh, that little arrow, you share it with people, and they'll uh, they'll hop on too. All right, so I'm gonna get some pico together. And one of the things I realized when I started using these shopping dealios, and you can find this on my Amazon store from <laughs> Amazon.com/shop/ the organizer man. Amazon gave me my own store. You guys can go check out all my favorite things. Bradley's this, too. Bradley's too. Amazon.com slash shop slash Chef Bradley. Is it one? No, just Chef Bradley. And Joanne wants to know if the beans were canned. Canned black beans. Canned black beans. Okay, so with the to ask questions as they come in. So, yeah, no problem. We want to make it all answered. Uh, Let's go. Y'all share, share, share the live. It's gone up to five people have joined through the share. Keep tapping the screen. This is Dan, the organizer man. He's got some rice and some black beans in the Instapot. And he's making fish tacos. <laughs> I talked to a very good friend of mine today who told me, you should make fish tacos. Fish tacos. <laughs> I, said, okay. I said, I will. And bam, bam, tacos. Chris said, oh, by the way, Dan, I got to tell you regarding Amazon Store. And that's, I don't know what he's got to tell you. I don't know. Show me that. Shake it up and show me. 
<laughs> so pretty. I love, so that. I love that little chopper. I do, oh too. My gosh. Do you use one, Bradley? Uh, Dixie got me one, and I used it with one hand. Yeah. That, that I love it. It's really, really cool. helped. Especially for Pico, it's good. Well, Dan tried to teach me to chop, but I cannot do it. So that's a godsend. <laughs> you know, knife skills are like everything else. You know, you got to practice it and keep doing it. If you don't, you kind of get out of get out of whack. It's like Brian in photography. He's a professional photographer. Brian Powers, Brian K. Powers Photography, and he uh, I, if he gives me the camera, I'm clueless. But if I study it long enough and get, you know, like there are times where I have done all right because I was just practiced. Uh, but look at, oh, look at they're all just in the exact same. Oh. Uh, Chef got it. in the house. Make the prettiest in the house. Oh, Chef God. Hey, Chef God. Moises. I'd be, I'd be asked the question. Does that brand of chopper stay sharp? I have a different one and stop working after a few uses. Oh. I've had this quite a while for about a year, and it's it's great. It's fine. I'm going to tell but you what. The one I, I have, the one I I have stayed it. sharp because I cut my finger on it. I did, too, trying to clean it. Trying to clean it. I cut my finger. Look, Dan, right there, I got a boo-boo. I got a boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to do another uh, tomato in here. So ours just stayed sharp. Oh, God, that smells so good, you guys. And it looks pretty. We got really... seven, we've got got seven that joined through the live. We've got a lot of new people in here. So let's tell them what we're making, Dan. I am making fish tacos tonight. I started with um, instant pot rice and black beans. Both are rinsed, the rice and the black beans. Instant pot rice is so easy. I can hear that trying to come to pressure now. Um, it's the same amount of rice as water and you always rinse your rice and then throw in whatever you want. I'm cooking it in chicken broth, but, um, it just needs one cup of liquid if you want to do water or whatever. So that's, what's working there. And the beans and the rice are in the same pot and going to be ready at the same time. I put a little butter on the beans and some basil oil that I just made. Uh, I just made tonight while we were getting ready. And I'm going to use the basil oil for plating. Here we go. And sometimes the we're, we're making, some, we're making some fish tacos. Oh, man, that looks so good. That's Is that so Pico, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's Pico, your Pico. Pico, y'all. Hey, Dan. Ooh. Do you have a cucumber? I do not, and I'm not doing cucumber in my pico tonight. I know you had, didn't you have some carrot in yours too, maybe? Carrot and cucumber, yep. Oh, cucumber is so fresh. I do not have the cucumber. I'm doing uh, uh, onion, tomato, uh, oh, yeah. jalapeno, and then I'm dicing up a bunch of cilantro to put in, and I'm going to do some lime juice. Lime and juice? A, a lime zest. Do you, do, you, do you put vinegar in it at all, or just that? Just that. I put a little salt in. I don't use vinegar. I use, let the acidity of the tomato handle its job. There you go. He makes a really good cucumber. Is it a relish? Which, yeah. Yeah. That's really fresh. I like the cucumber idea. I, uh, I'm i going to do that next time, I bet. Marie's cucumber relish. Oh, my God, that's awesome. Yeah, it is like pico, except diced. Yeah, that's it. It's diced cucumber, tomato, jalapeno, onion, and she serves it with chips. It's awesome. Uh, Chris wants me to tell you that he went to your store 30 minutes ago looking at an item. Oh, cool. Thank you, Chris. Cool. I was, I was worried that you were going to say they shut me down. <laughs> <laughs> I was just at the store. Hi there. Hello, Karen. <laughs> hey, listen up. This is Food Talk TV. If you're not following Food Talk TV, please just right there in the top, just hit that little follow button. Hit the notification so you know when we go live because we go live every single day on Food Talk TV. You can also check out our awesome website at foodtalktv.com. And tonight, after Dan's live, is the first grub match. It's going to be cool. 
Sketchy's throwing down with a city girl. A city girl's kitchen is going up against Sketchy Flay. Um, <laughs> uh, Sketchy Flay. One, the one-hour food competition, you have to start and finish. You have to plate within an hour, and then you get to go vote on it. So check that out at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Go ahead, Dan. Sorry. No problem. I was listening. I like that. Bradley, I was trying to use that thing to do some grading, and I had it turned the other way. and I was basically kind of tro- uh, chop it on that thing, and Dan just came over and took it out of my hand. Turn- video. Dan, you have to video that stuff. <laughs> so there's a technique to that thing, which I'm shocked. Well, you can do it both either way, but Brian was doing, like, short little deals, and I said, Brian, no, just do nice long, and you get all this stuff, but Anyway, I love using zest in pico. It really freshens the flavor up. I'm just going to use a little bit. I want to use a bunch more for the rice. Ooh, that smells good. Oh, it does. It smells so fresh up in here. Now I'm going to put some uh, lime juice up in this piece, too. And then we'll let this sit for a while until we're ready for our tacos. There you go. Hey, Mr. Ork. He jo- Mr. Ork joined us. Hey, hey. well done. Hey, Joanne, Joanne, Joanne said stick, stick to photography. photography, Brian. I will. I certainly will. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Joanne. So, I will. Go so, live, tap the screen, uh, follow Food Talk TV, and everybody get ready. Grub match, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, the first grub match of it's going to be every Monday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. This is why Food Talk TV exists, so we can learn that type of thing. People like me. There you go. Oh. There you go. That looks awesome. I I awesome. I I I I I salsa. Right? Okay. Okay. Now we're going to make some chips. 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 Fresh chips. So, as easy to make as anything, like as easy as toast, you buy yourself some corn tortillas. Sketchy, you don't worry about it. You get you get ready for grub match. What's she doing? Is she... <laughs> Sketchy says, you look lonely, Bradley, without oh me. Oh, my God. Hilarious. <laughs> She's in here running her mouth. <laughs> All right, Sketchy girl. <sighs> All right, so how big we want our chips tonight? What are they? Are those These corn? These are corn tortillas. These happen to be white. You can use yellow. Do not use flour if you want to make corn chips. chips. See that, Dan? Sketchy huh? can't stop watching Food Talk TV, even though she <laughs> has a grub match battle. <laughs> That's a confident woman. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's sketchy. It's sketchy flay. Sketchy flay. <laughs> I love sketchy flay. We are going to talk to her. Uh, we're going to call her sketchy flay from now on. Okay, so that's it, right? A stack of you find these. These are what two a buck a bag, two bucks a bag. All of these chips, and this is what they bring you. You know, when you go out, you don't dust them or anything. I don't do anything with these. Um, not now, because any. I would do to them now would just get uh, boiled off. off in the oil. But we do a lot with them when they come out. Ooh, they're delicious still. When they come out, so when you really want to get your groove on. <laughs> Sketchy saying, please, we need a woman in here. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing wrong, Sketch? This is a we man's meat. Up. Whatever, we're doing just fine. Sketchy, calm yourself and go get <laughs> go take care of your own business. You got a competition to win. So we just keep these separated in here a little bit, right? And just keep our eye on. That uh, rice just went off. It's already done. So Dan, are you drinking a, a vodka and cranberry? I am. I made my own cranberry juice. It turned out pretty well. I it's made pretty... my own cranberry juice too. I opened the top of the cranberry. <laughs> <laughs> and I just slurp it right up. I put a tiny little straw in each cranberry. <laughs> I put a tiny little straw in there. All right. I'm going to um, release the pressure on the pot. Because it's my rice. 
We've got chips going. How's everybody doing over at your house, Bradley? Everybody's doing good. Everybody's doing good. Kids are ready to go back to school. You know that. Uh, I, they are. I was never ready to go back to school. You can keep it all. You can keep it all, y'all. All right. I want to get these just a little bit darker. A little bit darker. Ooh, these would be good. Oh, no. That's so Chris was sick. Yeah, he was really sick. He didn't know if he had uh, what he didn't know what it was cold flu. But um, oh, you got you a little electric fryer going on up there. A lot of Vino says use a tong instead of a fork. I like the fork because it gets right in there and uh, it Look does at what, what I like it to do. You want to use a tong? Use a tong. Look at those. Uh, what kind of oil did you use, Dan? I this is uh, just regular frying oil. I've used vegetable. I've used uh, canola, but I believe I think this is vegetable oil. And that's at three seventy five, right? Yep, that's at three seventy five. All right. So I we, like that little fryer. Mine's mine's bigger. We got that at the reuse center. There you go. Okay, this is when you want to season them if you are going to put anything on them. Do you season them? Well, tonight, tonight, we're just doing salt. If Kelly, California gets here. a snow day tomorrow. They, they're up to 18 inches of snow in South Dakota, and guess what? You can keep it in South Dakota. Uh, okay. We have I'm zero snow here, and I like that. Oh, look at that. With that pico. Ooh, ooh no. Makes me whimper. <laughs> uh, you're right. She wants it to snow. I don't know. That snow is just cold. Oh, yeah. This would be great. Let's see what the, uh, let's see what the rice looks like. Let's see. Question here. How do I get them red and blue and green chips like I do at the restaurant? How do you get what? Red, blue, and green chips like they serve at the restaurant. Oh. How do you get the blue chips in? You use blue corn chips. No, blue. Do they make blue? Um... I don't know. I just pulled rice and beans out of the Instant Pot. I want to talk about those. I don't know okay. what you're talking about. I have beans here. And there I got you go. Rice. There you go. Corn chips. There you go. Is it done? Is it perfect? It looks nice. Looks great. Look at that. Rice is all finished. We've got our beans here. They each need a little bit of help still. The beans are gonna get a little bit of uh, a little bit of cilantro, and the rice is gonna get a little bit of zest. And cilantro. And you know when you go through the line at um, Chipotle? Is anybody there? Yeah. Bradley's Where are you? I'm listening. You're, you said you know when you go through the line at Chipotle? Yeah. This is the rice they serve. It's cilantro ri lime rice. Yes, Chris. That's what I was saying. He put the bowl of beans on top of the rice in the Instapot. And it didn't blow up. <laughs> it did not. He cooks. He cooks uh, multiple things at a time a lot. And then we do a little bit of lime juice also. Mm -hmm. uh, so fresh. So we got the zest. Woo! And the juice, right? We got the beans. There you go. And we got the chips. Oh, it smells so good in here, like fried beans and rice and jalapeno or something. <laughs> junk food junkie, how you doing, junk food junkie? Now I know, I know they make blue corn. Um, oh, um, all right, yeah, but I don't know how they do the red and the green. I guess it would probably be food coloring. Oh, 
I don't know. Maybe Sketchy Chef can tell us. <laughs> I can't wait to watch that tonight. It's going to be great. All right. How many likes do we have? Is Jack going to do a dog trick yet? Do we ever? We've get... got nine point two k likes. Nine point two. <laughs> With wow. 113 people watching. All right. I'm glad everybody's here. Somehow this well, got... people have joined through the share. So everybody tap the screen, share the live. You're watching what? Food Talk TV. This is Dan, the organizer man. And he can tell you how to organize everything in your house. But he can also cook. And he cooks pretty dang good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Bradley. He does. We're chubby in this house. Ooh, we love us some food up in here. But you know, this year we're doing, we, we're going to do uh, some things a little bit differently. We're going to change or shift our focus. I am, at least. And get, uh, get health a little bit more tightly in focus. 10K. 10K likes are ready. Look at that, Dan. It's going up. 13 people has joined through Sherry. Let's share it some more. Let's tap the screen. Let's share the live. <laughs> We're almost done. We're getting there. We're going to uh, make a little fish now. We're going to cook a little fishy fish. Just getting cleaned up. Fish. Take a little time. Fish tacos tonight. Fish <laughs> tacos tonight. Oh, man. Your food looked so good yesterday. I can't get it out of my mind still. Your food looks good, too. Everybody's food looks good on Food Talk TV because we got 12 creators that all they do is cook. You know, every really single day. We're so lucky to be a part of this team. I'll tell you, it's been so much fun. And, you know, we're looking for more people, too. Hey. If you're interested, right? Kaz just said that Dan's audience is getting bigger every week, and that's what we want. Woo. Woo thank you. Thank no you. Sketch. I am I'm always Ooh. looking at the board. Dan. <laughs> Damn. But I do know I promised you something. That 10,000 likes, I promise that I'm going to take Jack's knife. Not a Jack knife, but Jack's knife. Where is my puppy? Oh, there he is. And I'm going to have him do some um, tricks for you, but I'm going to show you some knife skills first. Oh, wait. Let me move in. With Jack's tree. These are... Yeah, I'm just cutting this on a bias. <laughs> Those are grilled chickens. <laughs> All right, Jack. Come here. Come here, Jack. All right, hang on, Dan. They did 10,000 likes, so you have to do a trick, okay? Which one do you want to do? Roll up? Let's do uh, banging. Oh. You're so good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jack. Uh, nope, they got to wait for roll over. You got to get to the 20,000 likes, and he rolls over. And he does, too. Okay, he rolls over. Y'all tap the screen. <laughs> tap the screen and share it, Sheba. All right, yeah, Dan, the, big, the next big question. You ready to answer the next big question? I love the question. What's the fish? What type of fish are we doing? We are doing cod. Cod. We are doing cod. A good friend of mine that I talked to today said, hey, I have cod in the house. And he said, how about fish tacos? And I said, that sounds good, Chef Bradley. He actually said, how about fish tacos? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I want to thank you for joining us. We're getting ready to do the fish. And um, I made homemade chips. I made um, cilantro lime rice. Uh, and I made uh, black beans with uh, butter and onion. These were all made in the Instant Pot, and they were ready in well, 10 minutes, probably. Five minutes in the actual pot Unattended. under pressure. <laughs> hey, Chris, got, Chris said that he'll okay. roll over for one of those chips. We yeah. Got Pico. Mm. How is it? Did you hear me, Dan? No, what'd you say, Bradley? Chris Chris said he'll roll over for one of those chips. <laughs> Human tricks. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to do the, uh, the fish. There the we go. That's what I'm here for is that fish. We're going to bring some oil to heat. Yeah, but those treatery said a Mexican bowl. That kind of does look, yep, that's a Mexican oh, bowl. Oh, yeah, we might do that. All hey. right, this is the garlic oil that I infused myself. I took, um, I got it all to just a bag of that pre-peeled pre, pre -peeled garlic cloves. 
I think it was like two bucks. I dumped it in a pan with oil and I simmered it for hours and hours and then strained the oil out. Olive. Olive oil and it's garlic oil. So I'm going to use a little bit of the garlic oil and I'm also using a little bit of the uh, the cilantro oil that I made earlier. There you go. In the pan for this. These are not going to get much. The fish is just going to just stand out on its own. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. That's, I mean, that's how fish should be. I, I mean, I get battering and all that, but if you have a good fish, just cook the fish. Oh, throw like some that. butter on it. <laughs> and I am just lightly, lightly dusting it with, uh, with cornmeal, like barely at all, just a little bit. Just to give it a little bit of a, a substance. And don't forget to show them how you test if the oil's ready with your cocktail. Yeah, <laughs> you take your cocktail and test your oil. Sketchy <laughs> agrees with the fish. Yeah. Good just, fish. Just a tiny little bit, right? Yep. So good. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Coming in. That's it. And then we just wait until our oil gets up to temperature. And we're going to cook our little fishies. Test the oil by sticking your finger in it, right? That's right. <laughs> All your fingers. Woo! Oh, and we got mushrooms to cook still, too. So we're going to cook those right after I pull the fish out. I'll, I'll uh, get some mushrooms in. You guys want, um, we had mushrooms on sale. We have little mini Bellas, and we have uh, the white. You want one or the other? You want both? I like the Bellas. Bellas. Little of both. What's the difference? Taste. Little of both. That's the difference is taste. <laughs> what's the, the difference? difference is taste. It's taste. <laughs> it's like, what's the soup du jour? It's soup of the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Why Why just one Bella? Why you got to have one Bella and three white? One Bella got away. We've got little life preserver coming for all these foods that jump off our boards and our plates and stuff. All right, here's how we test our oil. Somebody I, asked which one tastes better. You guys ready? Right, wait. That's his cocktail. There you go. Black and Crayon says it's ready. Scolded by Sketchy. What's Miss Sketchy say? She said that was naughty Bradley the difference is taste, naughty, is taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> cray cray <laughs> how are we doing on the likes tap the screen and share the live if you're we're at 13k 118 people viewing you and I can't see them it looks like 18 people have come in through the share wow. that's pretty cool tap no, the screen and share the live yeah, another uh uh, trick for you if you guys do. He's not cooking tilapia. He's cooking cod tonight. That's cod. We got cod in the pan. Is that cod? Cod. This is cilantro oil. Oh, it's a very pretty green. This be roast, and we ain't talking about beef. That little piece connected. Oh, Bama's on me. Sketchy's on me. I'm in trouble tonight, Dan. <laughs> Why? Why are you in trouble? Um, I guess I'm. I don't know. You don't know. You never know why. You <laughs> you always thought I was trouble. Look at your fish. That fish is looking pretty. It's looking so pretty. So I am so excited to watch this uh, this show tonight. This uh, grub. Oh, now Junk Food Junkie's joining in with me, telling him I was snotty. Your chips look the real deal, dude. I like the chips. Mm. They're good. So tasty. Those look good. Oh. That is restaurant quality chips. That's right. We have to be very delicate with our fishy fishies. Keep tapping that screen, everybody. Let's get to 20K. We're going to see Jack's roll over. 
He's a little clumsy at it, but it's still cute. Dan? Yes, sir? Thank you, Chef God. At least somebody's got my back. Dan, I, I, I have a request. Yes, sir? Paul wants to hear you say something. Yes, sir? Do you know what that is? No. Who wants me to? Bam off. Oh, Bama. yeah, I know. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Bam off. There you go. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. Yes. Hi, Bam off, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. How you doing? What's the spice she doesn't like? She loves nutmeg. So I'm going to put a little extra in that's, just for Bam off. That's what I thought she wanted you to Somebody say. Somebody mentioned her the other night when she wasn't even in the room. <laughs> we were laughing so hard. Yeah, she wasn't even up in the piece. Bama, Bama's awesomeness. <laughs> She's the best. She is the best. She, is. she says she's daring super. Now I gotta make my sloth. Ooh. I forgot all about my slippy mm. sloth. That's a, that's another show we need to do. Bacon with Bama. Yeah. <laughs> What is it with Bama? <laughs> Another show. Another show, Baking with Bama. <laughs> How about getting baked with Bama? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. There's the there's the. Yes. Now, this is, these kind of crumbled a little bit. These were frozen. This month, we're utilizing everything that we have in the house without purchasing more. It's our new uh, our new deal. So I'm gonna core this head of cabbage. Now I'm not even gonna use remotely close to this whole thing. I mean, this will last us. This head of cabbage costs like three dollars and thirty cents. This will be like I don't know eight meals. Wow. We'll do egg roll and this. We'll do. Let's see if my trick works. <laughs> All right, everybody, this is Food Talk TV. You're watching Dan, the organizer man. He's making some fish tacos. We're at 15K. Let's get to 20K likes, and we'll see the beautiful little puppy do a, do a trick. Also, don't forget, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time tonight, the first grub match with Sketchy Chef. That's 8 gonna p.m. Be fun. Central Standard Time. So tap the screen, share the live. And be sure to be following Food Talk TV. All right. I'm trying to just a little bit of cloth. I know I got a nice sear on that fish, just how I want it. So I'm just going to move the fish off to the plate here with the pico. I'm going to get a little bit more like cilantro oil. Flies in the house and says hello. The camp. Oh, well, hello. What do you make with the mushrooms? What do you mean? It's tacos. And so some of the, uh, instead of fish, you have uh -huh. mushroom tacos. Uh -huh. We were talking about Sketchy and how Sketchy and I were talking about uh, plant food and oh, yeah. eating healthier. And so that's that's what we're talking about. Miss Lori's so in the Miss Lori says hello. And we just got want a nice, fine, nice, fine slice on the cabbage here. Anything no, too good. He's not making fried cabbage. He's making coleslaw for the tacos. For the fish tacos. Yes. Yes. So is this, uh, do I need to write this down, Dan? You said you were winging it, so I need to write down the recipes. You do. All right, so that's a little bit of uh, <laughs> green cabbage. <laughs> We've got cilantro in this. Olive oil. Garlic okay. in this. And now I'm shredding it. A little cilantro is going to go in there. And then we're going to decide what the uh, what uh, acid we're going to use. There you it go. Be, it may be a little bit of uh, vinegar. What do you think, Bradley? Uh, how about do a uh, little, you got may mayo? 
Yeah, I like that mayo. Do do a do a little bit of mayo and just a touch of vinegar. Oh, okay. Okay. And then squeeze a little bit of lime juice in it if you got limes left. He, what did he say about the a little lime? bit of lime juice if you've got some left? Yeah, we got some left. I'm gonna do this whole carrot. Ooh, oh, and he's oh. They have the sear on them just like you had, Chef Bradley. There you go. You had a severe mushroom sear. My dear. Yeah. I caught my mushrooms on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you set them on fire. <laughs> Your mushrooms are on fire. Uh oh, I think that guy got a jalapeno stem. Oh, no. He'll be rubbing his schnitz all over the place. Lori says she loves mushrooms just right. Oh man, they smell so good. They really do. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put that over there and I wanna ruin it. 16.5k likes, y'all keep tapping the screen. We get 20k, Jax is gonna oh, do a roll up. Yeah. Look at that pan flipping. <laughs> okay. Chef Bradley, your flambe or flambe, whatever it is, was so cool last night. It was awesome. Junk Flu Junkie wants you to add some lime zest. Okay, we'll do that. Lori says we need smell o vision. Yeah, you do. You asking your team up in here, I'll even give you a little extra fiber. <laughs> I was cooking for the seniors. I was doing my instant pot demo for the seniors. And a lady goes, I think you left one of those stickers on you. <laughs> hollering, out, hollering out from her seat. And she was right. <laughs> October Dragonfly said, oh, it's getting yummy over there. Woo-hoo! We just, yes. we just made up a coleslaw recipe. <laughs> A mayonnaise. All right, and we got lime, lime zest, carrot. We've got the uh, we've got the cabbage. I think I want a little bit more cabbage in there. I mean, with I don't, think, I don't, I don't think you need the vinegar in there. I don't think so either. Not with the lime juice. I think the lime juice is going to take care of that. There you go. Okay. Good. Call on those. Jack, are we, do we are, are we up to twenty yet? Does Jack need to do a trick? <laughs> Getting close. Chris said Dan makes close? it up as he goes. Chris, this was a mutual thing. What's a mutual thing? We made this recipe up together. Yes, <laughs> we did. Yes, we did do this. This is a. Uh, that's right, Bradley. It's a um, collaboration. Taste it, Dan, and see what else it might need. What do you guys think? No, I, you said gotta taste. It. You got to tell us. Mm. Tiny bit of sugar. A little bit. Of that. I was going to say sugar, but I wanted you to taste it. <laughs> Just, I mean, a tiny little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe. Is that Montreux? Maybe. Yes. Sugar, maybe. What? Janie said sugar, too. There we go. 18.5K. Come on, y'all. Tap the screen. Tap the screen. Clover honey. Just a Ooh. tiny. Ooh. Honey. Oh. 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 <laughs> Somebody said, and some Clamato. <laughs> show off. Can't be a show off. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Good. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That did it, Bradley. Oh, man. Look at that. Come right in. <laughs> it looks like cabbage. Oh, my goodness. Chris, Chris said, pour sugar on me, honey. All right. <laughs> My board mess. That's it. All right. 
Man, oh man. Dan, you need to write that recipe down. Now, what did we, did we have anything we forgot? Where's your mushrooms, your slaw? Yeah, mushrooms and slaw. Were you doing anything else with the fish? The fish uh, how about your, uh, your tortillas oh, for the oh, taco? We've got, um, we've got a little crema we're going to make. Oh. Uh, just some uh, cilantro and crema. It's kind of the theme, the cilantro line, isn't it? What? 20K, Dan, 20K. Hey, oh, hey, Jackson. Where's my puppy dog? He's over right here. Jackson, come on. You got 20,000 likes. You got 20,000. Ready to roll over? <laughs> you up, down, and roll over. Yeah! Oh, hey. hey. Not easy for a wiener dog. <laughs> Jackson, thank you very much. I say thank you very much. I've told no. Dragonfly he is drinking the same thing I am drinking, which is vodka and cranberry. Okay. <laughs> I haven't had very much. I've never been one that can uh, cook and, uh, you know, enjoy a cocktail at the same time. I get so focused and stuff, it's hard for me to do that, but we'll figure it out. So, so are you going cream? Press it up a little bit, and we're ready to go, I think. Are you going to do actual tacos for the fish tacos? What did he say? Are you going to make tacos for the fish tacos? Tortillas, corn tortillas, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're not really going to make them, but we're going to warm them up. He's going to give them a little fry. We oh, I thought, you were gonna, I thought you were going to do, like, from scratch, corn tortillas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Bradley. No. <laughs> Not tonight. I'm too nervous for catchy. <laughs> All right. These are awesome. And Brian and I have just discovered well, I should say we discovered these. And the, the size Junk, is what we love. Junkie Junkie said Instapot's still on. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Lord. these street taco things are great. Look at that. We just get a little warm up on them. That's how, That's it. How does everybody else warm up their, their corn tortillas? I know some people put them on the stove like that. Some people put them in the oven. Some people put them in a the microwave. Some people just put them over the flame, don't they? Yep, over the flame. Or just Viper. over the flames. That's yeah, that's perfect. A couple of those, couple. Uh, we're going my Frank, mind. It's the flame, and everybody. I want to say one thing, Dan, real quick. Okay. Everybody, there's a lot of people complimenting Brian. He's doing a great job on the camera, uh -huh. and we cannot forget about the camera people in our lives because the camera people. Is what makes our lives better. That Aww. is so true. Thank you. And you know what? While he's uh, got the camera in his hand, he's also getting the plates together. <laughs> he's, you know, <laughs> keeping track of where Jack is. He's letting me know what you're saying because I can't hear all the time and <laughs> all that crazy stuff. Ooh, I just, I just, I just, I just, you ignore me all the time. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. Bradley, he wants to put those uh, earphones in, but we tried it one time and it was, there was too much feedback. Yeah, that, I don't know. Some people have good luck with the headphones. Some people don't. All right, just a couple little finishing touches. I just put, you know, just put a little line in that. I love fresh, um, fresh uh, radish Ooh. on taco, tacos. So I just like a just a few fresh radish, and uh, I'm done with the pan. Jack Jal jalapeno radish. What else? What else? What else? That's it, man. We're that's it. A little bit of cilantro in a in a bowl, and we're heading to the table. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna talk about food talk TV. We're gonna talk about sketchy coming up. Did you know that I I learned something um, in actual true. Mexican culture, they don't ever put lettuce on tacos. They put cabbage. 
cactus? Cabbage. Oh, that's cabbage. true. That's true, yeah. That's so true, yeah. All right, you want a little secret here? You want to dress up anything you put in a bowl, like any kind of sauce like this, just throw on a little of this. Ashley Aaron Turner said, radish tastes like nothing to me. He said, like, what? What tastes like nothing? Radish. Oh, oh yeah, I'm not a fan. Mmm, I love it. It's got pepper in it, kind of peppery. You like know, it. you know it's good, Dan? Pickled radish. Ooh, I'm gonna try some of those. Okay. Let me get the bowling bowl here. And we'll uh we'll head over and get busy. We gotta um I gotta reward Jackson. <laughs> here he comes, he heard his name. <laughs> Oh, you know what? One thing I forgot, but this is how quick I can do this. I want you to know. I keep forgetting things tonight. I'm so nervous about sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> this is how fast I make guac. I want to show you. I'm, I'm not nervous about sketchy flay. <laughs> I love sketchy flay. I'm nervous about everybody that goes up against sketchy flay. Yeah, right. We Yeah, absolutely. All right, now I need a little fork, and then we're good to go. Good to go, good to go. Sketchy. Yeah. You're still in here, Sketchy. You're supposed to be getting ready. She said, Sketchy said, bring it. Bring it. I don't want to hear anything from her right now. Leaving us here by ourselves. Bring it. Echoing. Making you all nervous and stuff. Sketchy, we're still Sketchy, before this is over, come on back in. Tell everybody about what's about to happen. I know you got time. I know you're ready. I know your mise en place is perfect. So bring yourself back in here and tell everybody about tonight. So, thank you. Bring yourself, Sketchy Shish. Sketchy This thing's too heavy. Sketchy Louise. Yeah, I'll get that. Junk food junkie. I cook stuff all the time and I get in trouble so many times because my wife says, Why didn't you write that down? Why didn't you write that down? Oh right. my Brian said that all the time. What's that? Why didn't you write that down? Why yeah. didn't you write that down? I just oh man, it's not how I roll, right? Where are you at, Sketchy? Come on. All right. I'm gonna have to play it another time. I'm just not Brian, remembering. Brian, can you let Sketchy back in, please? Sketchy get back in. Hang on. Sketchy's back in for uh, Oh there she is. Hang on. Eating. Except Sketchy Shop. There you go. Sketchy should be coming in. There. What up, Sketchy? There she is. <laughs> Woo! She could not stay away. Okay, wet. okay. So I've got my whole kitchen ready. All I'm my sure. stations. Can you see my stations? I'm I'm even uh, using my, I'm even using my other stations. I have another station over here. <laughs> see that? Uh, All yeah. my stuff's in order and I'm ready to battle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to throw down now. Get you play. <laughs> No, no, no. Everybody, please, please come back at, in one more hour and we are going to be, we're going to be doing our very first grub match, okay? And everybody gets, to, it's interactive so everybody can vote at our website, foodtalktv.com. And if you think you've got what it takes, you can also sign up to cook against me. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hope to see everybody there. Share it with all your friends. Hey. Um, Follow us right here on Food Talk. 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. 8 p.m. Central. One more hour. One hour. So now I have to go get gorgeous because my kitchen's ready. <laughs> so catch y'all catch y'all on the flip side. Good luck, Sketchy. Bye. Bye. All right, Dan, what do we got? Let's talk about your plate. Oh, my God. Look at everything he made. Okay, so this is it, right? We got Jackie here. Jackie, you want to try some fish? Okay. okay. He's way over. <laughs> I gotta get him over here. You do. Uh, he's got his little bib on. He does have his bib on and move that super. Yeah. Aw. <laughs> All right. Forget about photos, Dan. I won't forget about them. We always do. I'm glad you reminded me. Oh, make it taco. All right. So we've got fish tacos. I made uh, a slaw to go with these. This is uh, yes, carrot, 
a little bit of mayo, some honey, cilantro, lime juice, and lime zest, salt, pepper. Got a little bit of pico. I made my own uh, my own tortilla chips, just corn tortilla chips, uh, just deep fried and ready to roll. We've also got um, uh, portobello and white mushroom, which make a really, really good taco. Yes. And uh, cheese. I made homemade guac. We've got the rice, cilantro, lime rice, and beans. <laughs> it's not enough room on the table. Pot. Yeah. And, um, and then I made um, uh, lime sour cream. I used some of my own oil, my infused garlic and cilantro oil. And Jack's about to eat the spoon out of my hand. What do you think, Jackson? What's your favorite? What's your favorite? <laughs> hey, Mikey's in. I didn't even know Mikey was here. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your taco and tell us what it tastes like. All right, I'm waiting. Let's go. All right, let's go. Tap that screen. Tap that screen. Tap, tap that screen. Guys, right, let's do this. Ready? There's taco time, Jackson. And I love <laughs> these because you can put whatever you want, right? You put a little of the cabbage. You can put, you know, whatever. I'm a little cheese on this bite. There you go. Hey. Good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm really good. Jackson's Jackson looking at you like, um, <laughs> fight. Where's mine? I know he's about ready to tear it up. He always looks like that. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Dan, no. that was a good idea tonight. Fish tacos. Who would have thought? Yeah, good idea, you guys. So what do you like best? That was a great collaboration. I'm going to try the mushroom one real quick. Chris, Chris, reminded again, make sure you take photos. Okay, we got to take uh, photos. Uh, I know we missed a couple of those opportunities. All right, mushroom one. I like the Sunny Sazzy's giving you an applause. Everybody, let's go. <laughs> tap, clap, tap, 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 clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. Good Thanks, way to start guys. a new year. Happy New Year to everybody. Bradley, thank you so much for joining. Happy year, Dan. Always enjoy being in your life. I'm glad you're here. You're the best. Thanks, everybody. And don't forget, Sketchy's coming up. Grub match. 8 o'clock Central. Grub match. We're all going to meet back right here. Well, I mean, right One. here. Hour, well, y'all have your popcorn, have your food ready because <laughs> it's gonna be one hour of culinary challenge. Cheers, you, Dan. guys. <laughs> Thank you, Bradley. Bye, Jax. Bye, Jackson. Are you saying out of the way? Mm -hmm. You saying bye. <laughs>